Now, my last question. Okay. What is your vision for Kenya, for Africa, for sports in Africa in the next 20, 30 years' time? My vision is we'll be controlling sports globally. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Woo That's a big one. That's a big one. But I also know that we will be doing it. So it's not even a vision. It's the fact that I know we will be controlling it globally. Hmm. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Woo! See, I, see, as as a sp sports fan, and I I watch a lot of different sports. I can see how challenging it will be. I see. I can see how challenging it will be. Wow. But, it's but a, you it's can a see point. that it is actually possible. No, see, see, anything is possible as long as the people yeah. who have that vision are willing, willing to work towards it. Yes. You see, that's the the biggest challenge we as Africans have. See, our leaders, I'm not, I'm not just talking about political leaders, leaders in every space, okay. we say things, okay? But we don't follow up with action. We don't back it up. We don't back them up. We just say things because unfortunately, our uh, audience audiences are happy to hear things that sounds that sound good it sounds really good i'll build you a road vote for me <laughs> okay see we like <laughs> good good sounding people who tell you bah, 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 bah. what you want to hear but can they back it up but what, what you said that... what you said it's a big it's a big vision it is it's a, it's a big one what i know is that we are currently in the society and with the generation yeah that sees through all these things mm. you see we are no longer in the conventional generation this is a generation that thinks outside the box this is a, this is not a generation that is a hired in a terrible job for the next 10 years and they, they just complain and stick there. These are people who live and go into entrepreneurship and they're going to try everything until something sticks. And the, the beauty about that is it's very easy to work with these people because they're not stuck in the old age mentality of get born, get a child, get married, get an education, get a good job, leave, retire, die. These are people who are willing to explore more options. These are people who are willing to travel, to see other places, and then, you know, work with us and in those spaces. And that this is the generation that's going to bring that change because we are no longer conventional. We are not the conventional team. We are the team that sees something and says, I want to do that. Let me do that. Because how many times does someone go like, she started a company and went and here it is <laughs> and everybody is like in sports and you're like yeah it's one of the most fascinating things i've seen but keeping in mind i'm actually in a group of african women in sports and we have 300 members from africa and roots in africa who are all in sports in different sections i have this amazing lady who's in esports at something that i've been craving to learn and know more about, but manipulate it in the side of the company of where we are and see how we can infuse it as well. Because eSport is growing in Africa. Mm. A few years ago, eSport was, my child sits and plays video games. I don't know what to do. He doesn't want to go out. Yeah. But now, it's a whole career life. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And we are changing that. And you see, so anytime I'm in a space, I realize that I have an opportunity to influence the younger team and the people my age to look at what I'm doing and even do better. Wow. And they understand it. Wow. Simbo, see,
talking to you today was mm. <laughs> Te- thank you thank you very much for being a great guest a wonderful guest of the think big for africa podcast thank you for having me <laughs> Take it care. was a long time coming. We kept getting on those dates. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.